Welcome back to Living 808. In today's Hawaii Energized segment, we are learning about a great program at Hanalani School in Mililani. Yeah, it's called Royal Engineering and Design. And in this program, students are helping tackle real life energy problems. And as a result, it's lowering energy costs for the school. Yep, our friends Ramsey and Shana from Hawaii Energy explains. Hey guys, it's fall and it's back to school for many of Hawaii's families. Schools are gearing up for session and Hanalani Schools is no exception. Joining you from their beautiful campus in Mililani, we're excited to introduce you to a new program where students are helping to tackle real life energy problems. That's right, so what do you get when you have a 66 year old campus, a bunch of high schoolers and a little bit of curiosity about energy? Let's go find out. Yeah, let's go. All right. Hey guys, well thanks for having us at Hanalani Schools. Can you introduce yourselves for our viewers? Yeah, I'm Sarah Ueda and I'm a junior at Hanalani Schools. I'm Nicole Funner and I'm a senior at Hanalani Schools. And I'm Mark Sugimoto, head of school. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being on Hawaii Energize. We appreciate it. Um, so tell us about this program, Royal Engineering and Design. How did you guys get involved? Sure, so basically last year we started this with a boy named Zach Oglesby who introduced it to us with a no strings attached deal where we would either go to one of the meetings, see if we liked it, if we didn't we could go free of charge. <laughs> and so basically we ended up liking it very much because at the time we were working on an Innovations and Arts Center which is basically a whole new STEAM building which we are going to be building. And at the time it had to be put on hold which is now why we're currently working on LED project which will later be implemented back into the INA Center. All right, so the Royal Engineering and Design Firm is keeping pretty busy. Can you show us some of the spaces you work in? Sure, definitely. All right, let's check it out. Five years ago, I started learning about design thinking. And so tried to bring that into the school. And then the principal at that time started an applied engineering class. And in trying to find projects that were just real, um, we got a bunch of kids that wanted to be involved. So with the groups that we started to work with, just projects around campus that were going to be tangible, that they could do, the students said, we need to form our own company. And so they came up with the name, Royal Engineering and Design. In the big scope, we want them to actually do the research on what LEED certification is, and then develop our school's strategic energy plan. Um, I think the big picture with the project we're currently working on that we're trying to change is just to make our school LEED certified because if we're able to be a LEED certified school on campus then it'll be a lot easier because it will not only lower the cost of school but it will be able to improve like student work because if the lights are better and easier for them then they won't like fall asleep per se or they'll be able to pay attention easier or if they need to take notes then it'll be easier for them when there's PowerPoints and they have to dim the lights. Um, Hawaii Energy has factored a lot because they've been one of our main partners that we've worked with. So being able to just connect with them on a personal level to be to see how they've helped us with picking our lights and helping us with our money management and seeing how far along we can go with the process and how quick we can start it has been very helpful. And we noticed that there's a huge symposium going on in a few days. So we decided to sign up for that. Uh, I really like the session with Steve Nash and he explained different LED lights. There are specific lights for specific reasons instead of just adding them all over the place and just saying that you have LED light. This is the only class where studying for tests is like studying for presentations and our actual test is presenting for funding and our grade is what we get to see what we get out of it if we did get that funding. If we uh, build up these lights while we're still here, I think that's really cool because it's not just about a report card. This is about actually something that you can put in your hands eventually and say, look what I did. All right, so you guys are telling us a little bit about how you did your lighting audits and the takeoffs for those and using a spreadsheet. Can you tell us a little more? So basically, this whole project for this specific SAC part itself, it took about six months because we had to go through all of the bills, all of the information, and we had to like count each individual light, which Sarah actually went and went ahead and did. So not only did you count the ones in here, but you counted every classroom and building in here. So that took a while, and then we met with an actual um, lighting engineer, and we actually have gone over the different types of lights that we were looking at. So you did an analysis. Can you quickly tell um, our viewers how much energy and how much money you guys might save? So through our entire audit, 
we discovered that we were spending, I think the final number was 4,000 that we're spending and we'll be saving 1,000 each month once we retrofit all of our lights. So when we talk about a clean energy future, well, this is our future. Sarah, Nicole, and all these other students across the state, they're going to be some of our biggest assets in helping us reach our 100% clean energy goal. That's right. You just heard a snippet of what students are doing across our nation to get involved with hands-on, real-life energy solutions projects. And they truly benefit everyone in the process. So on behalf of all of us, thank you for having us at Hanalani Schools. And hey, check out Hanalani Schools for more information on their Royal Engineering and Design program, as well as all the other learning opportunities they have. And until next time, we will catch you on another episode of... Hawaii Energy! That's you, John and Trini. <laughs> wow. wow, that is impressive. <laughs> These kids are so smart. It makes it, and you know that these kids, you know, they're learning. They're they're trying to save their school mm -hmm. money. Um, they're going to go home and do the same thing at home. Yeah, I love the fact that they studied to figure out what types of lights were used. I mean, she said not just throwing LED lights up in any right. in any place. There's a reason for the lights and certain lights in different rooms. Yes, it's purposeful. Awesome. Good job, kids. <laughs> yes, thank wow. you. Wow, I feel you. like when you know the future is bright when I see kids uh, so passionate. <clears throat> Ah, Yay for Trini. All right, after the break, <laughs> we're going to wrap things up, tell you what we have in Sophie tomorrow. You're so funny.